everyone and welcome back to Mommy Talk. My name is Sarah and this is where I like to talk about my life and all things mommy and welcome to my to week 19 of my pregnancy vlogs. And this week, week 19, baby is as big as a mango. This is a pretty large fruit, so mango. This is how big baby is this week. Can you believe it? How big like they grow in just like a short amount of time. So weight gain this week for week 19 I is actually um, weight loss. I was down to 128, but I am officially back up to like 129 now. So um, it's actually weight loss. So I was, I don't remember what my weight gain was for last video, but I do know that I'm, I was not 129. I do know that I weighed less than that. Um, this week we're doing my vlog outside because it is beautiful outside and it's got great lighting and I'm tired of doing my vlogs inside at midnight um, with really bad lighting in my son's room. So heartbeat this week um, is in the upper 140s to 150s and um, I think you saw that in my gender wives tales video. I did mention that if you haven't seen that go check it out now. It's really really fun. I had a lot of fun making it. it I did it with my boyfriend Cody so you guys can kind of see him and like meet him and uh, you know get to know him a little bit. She didn't give me an exact answer like at my appointment like what exactly my heartbeat was. She just said 140s, upper 140s, 150s. And so I said, oh, okay, what's the heart, what's the exact heartbeat? And she says, oh, just 140s, 150s. So I, I really don't like this doctor. Um, like, I really dislike her. And I've had, I've dealt with her for my past two pregnancies before. And she, I feel, is so incompetent that... I don't even re I don't even know how she's still in practice honestly and I hate I really dislike the fact that I have to I feel like I'm being forced to go there and being forced to be like under her care technically she's not my primary um, OBGYN but I am in a rotation of doctors and she is part of my rotation so if I just didn't have to worry about this insurance issue I'm just like I would so just not even go to this office anymore. I just don't even know what to do. I just don't even know how to fix it because I'm like, I'm, I feel like I'm stuck. Like there's nobody else that will either accept my insurance or if they do, they're not accepting new patients. <sighs> so frustrating. Okay, so um, so yeah, so heartbeat this week, upper 140s, 150s, I guess we'll just have to be okay with that because that's all the answer that I have for you today. So I don't really have any cravings to report on this week. Um, I just want food <laughs> so I'm just like there's nothing really specific I don't think that I was craving at all um yeah I just I don't know I there's no there's no cravings to report on this week so um so no cravings um uh symptoms that I have to report on is still getting nausea every day still getting nausea so much fun <laughs> just like throwing up every day so much fun I can usually keep it under control as long as I like stay on top of my eating and it's usually better like later on in the day than it is like it's really usually bad in the morning that's usually when I have like my throw up session and um, like I usually throw up in the shower which by the way biggest pet peeve is when I brush my teeth and then my body decides right after to throw up like biggest pet peeve because then I have to brush my teeth all over again. Other symptoms include sore and uh, tender breasts and nipples. Um, not like excruciatingly so but I definitely notice it like especially when I take off my bra at the end of the day or you know just I don't know they're just they're just tender it sucks. Um, also my nipples and this may be TMI sorry TMI um, but my nipples are getting a lot darker um, so, and that's always happened with all of my pregnancies, they're getting a lot, they always get darker for some reason. I don't know if that's like a common thing, I'm sure it is. Um, I have not get, gotten a linea Niagara line up my stomach yet though, which is weird because I normally always get that for pregnancy. Baby kicks are still getting bigger and I can feel like lots of movement now. Um, not like consistently throughout the day because I don't think I'm far enough along yet to do like kick counts, you know, because you're supposed to do like, you're supposed to... Uh, I think the rule of thumb is you're supposed to feel like 10 kicks in an hour, um, but that doesn't start, I think, until like 28 weeks, which seems kind of like far away. Um, I don't know, but I guess maybe it's actually common to not feel like consistent kicks until then. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what the whole rule is on that. I'll have to ask in my next appointment. And um, I don't really have much else to report on, um, so I guess I'll just go ahead and... See you for week 20! Bye!
circles, walk around in circles, walk around.